Hello, my name is Darren Thomas, and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we are going to learn about the if, and, and also the or functions inside Microsoft Excel. So let's go ahead and see what we can learn. So I'm clearly inside Microsoft Excel, and this is what we're gonna do. The if function will execute some sort of a behavior or action that you specify based on some sort of a criteria. So uh, right now I'm in column D, row number three, and I'm gonna do equal sign. And I'm going to do the following. If, and then I'm gonna say, if um, C3 equals one, then I put a comma, now, if it's true, it's gonna put this. It's gonna put the, the, the string awesome inside the current cell I'm in. Whoops. And then, if it's not true, then this is what it's gonna put. It's gonna put the string awful in the current cell that I'm in. Oh, I gotta put the quotation mark, all right? So I press enter, and you can see I got awesome because C3 is one, so therefore I got awesome here. Now, if I click and drag this down, you can see that I got awesome the first time and awful all the other times. So you can see that you can insert a, um, a text based on the criteria. This is just one way to do it. Now, I can also kind of do this again, but I can do it a slightly different way. I could do equal sign if, and then I could do the following. If all these guys right here, if they equal one, then I put a comma, put a yes. Otherwise, put a no. Close it out. And you can see how it automatically filled in all the rows at the same time. So this is a way to get around the click and drag responsibility you might have if you um, do this inside Microsoft Excel. Now, we're going to move to the and and the or functions now. And these ideas that we're gonna talk about, they also apply to the if function. So let's go ahead and move down here. So when we are dealing with the AND function, what it means is that both, uh, whatever you're comparing, both actions must be true. So you can see over here I have in um, column B, happy cat, happy dog. So here the cat is not happy, the dog is. The cat is happy, the dog is also happy. Neither is happy, both are happy. So with AND, what it has to mean is this the dog or the cat needs to be happy it needs to be true i'm, I'm sorry the the dog and the cat must all, both be happy that's how it works otherwise it'll not uh go out to be true and we're using true false because this is boolean that's why we're using is boolean logic so we type in equal and we type in and then we put column b 21 column row b 22 do that and you can see we got false because they both must be true. If I click and drag this down, you can see I only got true when both the dog and the cat are happy. When they both come to true, that means dog and cappy, dog, dog and cat are also uh, true. Now, or is when one or the other criteria or however many things you're comparing, one of them must be true. That's how it works out. So we're gonna repeat the process, equal sign or then we're gonna go here, B21, C21, close it, press enter. And you can see that we got a true here because the dog was happy. And then we also got a true in the second one because both of them were happy. We got a false here because remember, neither the dog or the cat was happy. And we got another true again because the dog and the cat are happy. So or means that at least one of them has to be true and then the, the, the final logic will be true in the OR function. Now, all these things we just talked about also applies towards one and zeros. So zeros represent false and one represents true. And so I can repeat this process here. We could do AND the first time. So we got a comma, all right. And you can see I got the same answer as above. Everything is exactly the same. And I can repeat the process for or here. And so that one, then a comma, 
and then this one close it out and then of course it's true the first time and then we get the exact same answers going all the way through so you can use the all caps false and true or you can also use zeros and ones whatever works best for you now what we're going to do next is we're going to combine all this knowledge that we've acquired into a practical example so what we have here is a very very simple spreadsheet where we're trying to figure out how much to charge individual people so basically how it works is this freshmen they get a discount a 25 percent discount off the total price of whatever they're buying here faculty and staff they do not get the discount nobody else gets the discount besides freshmen however faculty and staff they do not have to pay the tax so we have to make two different if and excuse me if and or, or functions here in order to calculate everything correctly so we need to figure out what is the discount what is the tax and then what is the total so watch how we do this I'll try to make it as clear as possible first we gotta press equal sign then we're gonna call our if function like that and after that we're going to highlight K7 because all the freshman sophomore faculty staff that information is in column K that's why we're picking this one so if column uh, K row 7 is a freshman then this is what I want I want to take my subtotal in else in column L where we have the 375 in row number 7 I want to take that L7 and I want to multiply by 0.75 because they're getting a 25% discount. I'll put 0.75 to make it a little simpler to understand. Now, if they're not a freshman, just take L7, don't change it. That's why I'm putting this a second time. Now, after that, we press enter. Let's see how we did. So, you can see Dan, he's a freshman, so he got the 25% discount. So that's why now he's paying 281. So I'm going to double click in the, the lower right hand corner of the active cell and we're going to apply that all the way across. So only Cheryl, Daisy and Dan get the discount. Everybody else is playing full price. Now we're going to put in our second, uh, our second uh, logical function here and we have to do something called a nested function where we have a function within a function. All right. So I press equal if and then I say or because why am I using or because now the criteria is this either they're faculty or staff then do something if they're not faculty or staff don't do anything that's why we're using an or function here so I put or next and then inside the or I do k7 again because that's where all my information for what category they're in is at and it's going to equal faculty comma k7 again equals staff remember the rule is it can be faculty or staff then they do not pay tax all right then I close this out I put a comma and the first if they're faculty or staff put a zero here the zero represents how they pay no tax if they're not faculty or staff take after discount that's column M and we're going to start with row 7 take M7 and multiply by 0 0.08. That's how that's going to be. And looks like I should have only one more parentheses. And then we're done here. Now press enter. All right. So you can see here, Dan is a freshman. So he got the discount, but he still pays tax. Now we're going to double click this. Whoops. All right, go all the way down. And so you can see that only in the row with Clark and Wayne. These guys, they don't pay any tax at all because Clark is uh, faculty and Wayne is staff. So they don't pay a tax. Everybody else pays a tax. Now for the total, that's really simple. You just put equal sign. You just put M, M7 plus N7, not that deep. And that's the total there. And so now we have everything worked out for how much each person pays. So you can see that's the beauty of it. So really a, a complicated idea, but very, very practical way to apply some basic skills here. So 
that's it for this one. Let me kind of summarize what we talked about and conclude the video. In this video, we learned about the if, the and, and also the or function in Microsoft Excel. The if function will execute a, a particular behavior you specify based on some sort of a criteria. So you can have multiple logical tests inside it. Of course, this is all using Boolean logic, true or false, um, etc. The and function is working under the assumption that whatever your logical test is, they all have to be true. That's how that works out. And the or is working out in a way that where at least one of the things you're testing has to be true. That's how that works out. And so after we learned about these things, which can be applied to text, which can be applied to numbers as well, specifically zeros and ones, but it can also meet other criteria as you specify. We then use all this knowledge in a practical example that you can see on the screen right here, where if somebody was a freshman, they got a 25% discount. If they were not a freshman, they paid the regular price. Then we had a second criteria in which if somebody was faculty or staff, they do not have to pay tax while the rest did. So my name is Darren Thomas. I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. Thank you for watching and take care.